Hello everyone, Charles Wallingford back again with another video. And this video is my liquor cabinet tour. Uh, previously, I've done videos on my humidor tours and people were also, also asking me to do videos on my liquor cabinet tours. And these liquor cabinets aren't real liquor cabinets. I guess you can make anything to a liquor cabinet. But these are just display cases um, that I bought from Ikea and I thought they looked pretty good the way the way I could use them or utilize them this way and um, if you go on online the most likely they still have them now so uh, let's go and get started uh, before I get started I'll let you know it will take a long time to go through this collection of uh, alcohol distilled aged spirits the reality of it is excuse me I know a lot of people are saying that's not a real collection. It's technically not. A true collector, a true collector will have at least two of whatever he has, at least two of whatever he has. That's a true collection. I don't have a true collection. Um, everything is just one of, and most of these are open. Some of these aren't open, but most of these are already open. All right, without further ado, Let's go ahead and get started with uh, my bourbons. So my favorite bourbon right now, I've uh, experienced, is Booker's. That's my favorite. This is the first Booker's I've ever purchased and um, I drink really slow. Plus I have this collection, so uh, this, this huge selection, so I don't have to I can take my time, but Booker's is my favorite, and my second favorite would be Blanton's. Blanton's is my second favorite. Um, this is the second bottle of Blanton's all the time that I've purchased, and this one's sealed and has not been opened yet. Anyway, let's keep going here. We also have some, uh, I'll go over it, Kentucky Howl. We have some Joseph A. Magnus, Stag Jr., of course the Bookers, O. Forrester, Statesman, and Colonel Gage Taylor would probably be close to number three. Though um, Joseph A. Magnus, which is not a Kentucky straight bourbon, and the most of, most of what I'm talking about now, uh, out, of, out of my Kentucky straight bourbons, uh, Bookers is my favorite. Uh, for the other bourbons, it would be Joseph A. Magnus. Then on the next level, and you'll see pictures of it, on the next level we have uh, Long Branch, we have some Horse Soldier, that's in the copper level, I can't remember which one that one is, but this is the copper level, uh, the bronze level I guess, the Legion, these are all uh, Legion, these are all, uh, but not all, some, some of these are not straight Kentucky straight bourbons. Most of these are not Kentucky straight bourbons. They're either, either bourbon blends or they're bourbons made in other places. To be called Kentucky straight bourbon, it has to be from Kentucky and a couple other uh, components. But we have Buffalo Trace. Buffalo Trace, and I purchased Buffalo Trace. This is my third time purchasing Buffalo Trace. And every time, every time we get it, it gets harder and harder to find it. Uh, one of my favorite bourbons, Evil Rare, I don't have in here because I, I can barely find it. And if I find it, it it's too expensive. Anyway, uh, Angel's Envy is one I really like a lot. Um, Murray Hill Club, this is a Joseph A. Magnus product. That's all I'm going to go over for right now. Now, ne the next level is rums. And starting out, we have uh, Ron Zacapa XO. This Ron Zacapa XO is one of my favorite uh, aged rums I've ever had. One, one, very, one of my very, very favorites. Then we have Kirk and Sweetney. 
This is a 23, the 23 year old curtain sweetening. This is a really nice one. This is one of the best, I think, uh, around next to Rose and Kappa. And then uh, Barcelo Imperial. This, uh, I've had a, the higher level, but actually the higher level to me isn't that much better. This is one of the newer rums I just got, this es Esquisito. This is a Bacardi product. This is a, this is actually pretty damn good. Then we have the Ronza Kappa 23. Now the Ronza Kappa 23 is probably a good, a very good beginner's um, age rum. If you want to get into age rum, start with Ronza Kappa and then work from there. 23, Ronza Kappa 23, work from there. And then we have some Gosling. I kept it in this, this container. It's not fresh. It has been open, but I like the container. I like the box. It looks cool. Another product that another product that I've purchased multiple times. This is the second time I've purchased this old line. This Caribbean aged rum, Navy strength. Oh yeah, really strong. All right, let's move on to the next uh, display case. So the first level are uh, XL cognacs. The way cognac works, really, it's if you're going to drink something straight, you just only want XO for the most part. You really don't. It sounds snooty or whatever, but I drink only straight. I don't like to mix. I don't like mixed drinks too much. I like and I um, smoke cigars, and you, you shouldn't be smoking and having iced mixed drinks for your cigar. Most of the time it doesn't, it doesn't work. So my favorite thing, my favorite still A spirit is cognac. And what, what I have here are some really nice ones. We have uh, AB, ABK6. This was the, uh, the Renaissance. The ABK6, like other brands, make multiple uh, different XOs. That's the Renaissance. Same thing here with uh, Camus. This is the Camus Bouderie. The Bouderie is one version of their XO. They have other uh, versions of their XO. Um, the, I want to show you this. This is the uh, Frimpong. Frimpong. Uh, I do love to pair this with, pardon the sounds, my dog. Pair this with a cigar. It's awesome. This is not, this is not cognac. This is not cognac. This is actually um, brandy. All cognacs are brandy, but not all brandies are cognacs. So this is made in the same style and uh, way of cognac. This is actually, this is Ararat. It's Armenian brandy. It's Armenian brandy, but it's a, still kind of the same uh, concept of of cognac and this is I haven't had it yet but I've been told this is really really good. Then we have some Park XO, some um, Paul Garand XO. And then next we have my single malt scotches. That's two shelves. Most most of my things don't take up two shelves. Uh, single malt scotches probably be my second favorite. Believe me, all these I like a lot. They're just my, that'd be my second favorite. A uh, third would be, bourbon would be my third, and, um, and Yeho Rum would be fourth. Glen Gowen, 18 year, these are all 18 years. I kept them in the container for the box, not because they're brand new, because I just like the way the box looks. Then, and they're, they're in here. Um, uh, 18 year the Marengi. and uh, I did not keep the box for this because I moved and I was looking to I was looking to just conserve some space and that was a mistake but 
one of the, my favorite single malt scotches. That is the Dalmore Cigar Malt. Then we have Glenn Levitt, 18 years. All right, next, I'll you know, just point out, got a lot of stuff in here. Again, I don't want to make the video too long. Now, if you can always ask me questions in, a, in the comment section, and I'll, and I'll happily ask them, answer them for you. Um, but let's keep moving, and we're going to go to Abelara Abuna. Abelara Abuna is probably one of my uh, favorites to have with a cigar. I think they do the best of all things. I mean, all the Abelara Abuna does really good with uh, cigars. And then the next one is the Balvini, Balvini 14 year, that's the Caribbean cast. That does really well with a cigar also. And then down below, really low on the bottom, we have uh, a couple things I want to show you. This is Buna Hobbit. This is another Armenian, uh, not cognac, but brandy. This this is the horse soul. Armenian soul is what it's called, but this is the horse. This is a 10 year old, 10 year old uh, brandy. It's really nice. It definitely will give cognac a run for its money. And it just looks really cool too, right? Then I have a couple, again, a hodgepodge of different ones that I'm just gonna skip over. I wanna show you some uh, other ones that I've had in a box. I just like to put them in the box or just not open, I didn't open yet. And that is over here, this Remy Martin. This is a uh, little limited edition. Uh, I would call this like a gift box. This isn't that much different. All it is is that you're getting some glasses. That's all you're getting. There's nothing really crazy about it. And let me show you these other things. The Crown Royal XR. Crown Royal XR. I'm not a Crown Royal person at all. However, there's always exceptions to the rule. If you want to drink a good Crown Royal, the XR is the way to go. Unfortunately, like anything else, the prices of this have skyrocketed. I bought this, I think, right at $100 when I purchased it. Nowhere near that now. Now, this is what I, the few I'm gonna talk about that I just plan, flat out did not like. And that's the Blood Oath number, Blood Oath number four. Just wasn't up my alley and uh, it was a pretty penny. <laughs> so anybody coming over with some expensive uh, Kentucky straight bourbon, come on over, have some Blood Oath, maybe you'll like it, not for me. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you like this video. I hope you enjoyed seeing what I have, what I'm drinking, uh, what I like, what I didn't like. Uh, I'll see you on the next video and I have some great ones for you coming up soon. I'm Charles Wallingford. This is how I would spend my money. <laughs>